Hey, it's your girl, Nick. So this week, we're going to talk about the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It is Quentin Tarantino's ninth movie. Yay! I don't know why I'm supposed to be excited about that. Because when I saw this movie, yeah, it was absolutely nothing. Okay, so I saw the trailer like at least four or five times and didn't get it. I knew it was an actor whose career was going down, along with a stuntman who was also his best friend, and Sharon Tate, you know, from The Manson Murders. But how do those connect? And two hours and 41 minutes later, still not 100% sure. Well, let me rephrase that. The first two hours, I didn't get. I just knew that they lived next door to each other, but that's it. Then in the last 20 minutes of it, you got to understand. And that's when the violence came in and everything. So basically, the movie was about what would have happened if the Manson family went to the wrong house. I spent two hours, 41 minutes for that. Why? Oh, God, the movie was, yeah. Mm. I'm giving it a C-. minus, And the only reason why I didn't go lower is because, well, the acting was really good in the movie. But beyond that, mm, mm I don't even really want you to waste $5 on it because you can't get that time back. Wait until Netflix and just fast forward to the last 30 minutes of the movie and you'll get everything. Trust me. It ain't even worth it. Alright, this is your girl Nix with the movie talk.